So usually every day pretty much starts the same for me. I wake up and I figure out what my intentions are for the day and the first thing is always what am I going to eat for my day? What I'm going to eat and when am I going to eat it? More times than not, it's going to be about the same for me when I'm on the road uh, doing shows. And that's a breakfast that always consists of a banana, peanut butter or almond butter, and a Garden of Life protein shake with water. I'll also add pink Himalayan sea salt for electrolytes and minerals as well as flavor enhancement. And then I'll do cinnamon for flavor as well as it's a great natural anti-inflammatory. After breakfast, the next thing on the list is head to the truck and make our way to the school. Once we get to the school, we find out where we're going to set up the ramps. It's a pretty cool setup, it's like a transformer almost. <laughs> we pull the ramps out of the trailer and they wheel out and we set them up uh, where we want them. And then we go to the quarter pipe, we unfold the quarter pipe from the trailer and we're ready to go. Originally from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, also currently residing in Raleigh, North Carolina. You may have seen him on ESPN, Fox Sports Network, NBC. This guy is also a world traveler. He's also competed at the X Games. This guy is one of the top contest riders and show riders on the planet Earth. Make some noise for Josh Perry. Before all of you, our good friend Josh here is going to attempt to jump not one, not two, but he will attempt to jump over the top of four live human beings without the use of a takeoff ramp. Josh, how you feeling? Pretty good. It's kind of right. Feeling pretty good. All right, so what you guys are going to do is lay down flat on your backs. And I'll tell you what, you guys are going to want to squish together. You're going to want to be best friends out here right about now. All right, so this is what Josh is going to do. All right, he's going to circle around way back there. All right, he's going to get up as much speed as he can. He is going to ride really fast right up to Lucky You. Then, at the last possible second, he is going to jump right over the top of it. Here he comes. Looks like he's got the approach. I think he's got the speed. And he did it. Unbelievable. Luckily, we got that on camera. That was pretty great, right? What do you guys think? Is that what you wanted to see? Yeah, wait a second. He jumped right over the top of him. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. You guys don't want to see him do it on his bike. It, it's a bike show. It makes sense. I think they want to see you do it on your bike. I don't think these four want to see you do it on your bike. The rest of our friends out here, they want to know, can you jump over all four of them on your bike? Can you try? You can try. Super reassuring, right? How you guys feel about this? Look a little nervous. At the end, you might be like the landing ramp. I'm just kidding. I know what you guys are worried about and have no fear because Josh, he can almost always make this jump, all right? Oh, you guys have a problem with the almost part? I know what you're thinking. What happens if Josh can't get enough speed? Right? See, he jumped. He lands right about here and kind of monster trucks over the last three of them. I don't want anyone to worry because even if Josh does crash, he's got his safety gear on. Don't worry, guys. He's going to be fine. What about you guys? I'm thinking about that. Josh, what are we going to do for them if, uh, if you don't make it again? He said, don't worry. If he does crash on top of you, you guys are getting posters. <laughs> Finally, right? They don't seem too happy about that, Josh. Want to go for it anyway? All right, he's looking confident. So we're going to do this under two conditions. Number one, four and only four fearless volunteers. That's going to be his limit. And I'll tell you what, he is going to be lucky if he clears all them. Now, number two, when he goes for this one, he's definitely going to need to hear lots of noise from his friends out there in the audience. <laughs> Uh, uh, wait a second, Josh. What are you doing? Just got oh, trying to get a post. I'll get him up out of the way, Josh. You take your time, circle around, and whenever you're ready, go ahead and take it away. Let's make some noise for Josh Perry. Oh my goodness, he's up and over the top. Great job, Josh. And let's give it up one more time for your four fearless volunteers. Thanks a lot, guys. Come back after the show. We have some free stuff for you for helping us out on the safe side that John, he's going to need to be able to go over the very top of that chair by at least three to four feet. All right, so you guys pay very close attention. All right, Josh, whenever you're ready, go ahead, take it away with that practice run. All right, best well, you guys let us know today. Can he make it? Here he comes, going to have lots of speed, looking good. Pretty good air in the box, jump, he's up. Surprisingly better than last time. Josh, what happened? 
Oh, the wind! The wind knocked the chair over. Do you believe that? We said it was the wind that knocked the chair over, not his entire bicycle. Well, we said that we believe it up to our friends out here. We will, so what do you guys think? Should he go for it? Did you break the chair? Well, they seem pretty confident that Josh might make it. I guess my better judgment, I think we're gonna have to go for this one, all right? So if you will, walk right around in the back there. Isaac and Josh are both gonna help you up into that chair. Now we're gonna go for this one, guys. But once again, Josh Perry is a trained stunt professional. So please do not go home tonight and try to jump over your little brother or sister. This is extremely dangerous. Go ahead and get seated nice and comfortable. All right, Josh, we're gonna do this under two conditions. Number one, you you are going to want to stay seated at all times. Trust me, after that practice run, standing up might not be the best idea. Number two, you're going to have to keep your eyes open because I think you have the best seat in the house. But for you guys out there in the audience, you're going to have one very important job, and that's to make some noise for Josh Perry. Volunteer. You are definitely the newest member of the stunt team as well. Josh is making sure she makes it down there safely. Now with your volunteer helping us out, guys, it does remind us that, well, there's a very special group of people out there that we want to thank. Not only for allowing us to have some of their class time to celebrate your hard work, but more importantly, just for everything they do and making this world a better place. They love you guys. They care about you. So right now, let's give a big round of applause for your teachers out here. Now these guys, they came out here, they showed you where they chose to put their natural energy. Now, does anybody out here ride bikes, skateboards, anybody like action sports? Very cool. Does anybody out here like playing music? I do. Does anybody out here like playing other sports like baseball, soccer, football, basketball, softball? That's great. See right there, guys? Those are just a few examples of some places that you can choose to put your natural energy to good use in a positive way in your lives. Now, this team, these guys chose bike riding, right? They put their all into it. And see, they made a few decisions in their lives that were important for their success. But they were simple decisions. Decisions like staying in school. Another important decision of their lives, guys, and that was their decision to lead a healthy and drug-free lifestyle. Now, see, these guys, they weren't born to ride bikes. These guys got to this level because of how they lived their lives. And now look at and they get to travel the world doing what they love. They get to be on TV. They even get to be in video games. And that just goes to show, guys, with some good decisions in your lives and a positive attitude, you can accomplish any dreams, any goals you guys might have. And see, this team was just living proof. Now, Josh, let's have a little talk here. You want to tell us what you have going on? Well, hey, guys. Um, like Joe was saying, positivity is a big factor in your life and staying healthy, drug-free. About six years ago from tomorrow, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor and took up the whole left side of my head. The only reason I found out, because I hit my head riding one day, I had to get a scan. Uh, that trick saved my life. I do that trick today. But that led me to learning about a positive lifestyle as well as a healthy lifestyle and the food that we eat or don't eat and how that contributes to our health. You pretty much can do anything you want. If you believe you can, you can do it. So if you stay healthy, positive, then you can do anything you want. And you know, like Joe said, we're all proof of that. I grew up as a kid, just like you guys, and I was a little kid around the bike. Had a dream to be professional and worked hard, stayed strong, stayed positive, happy, and now, since then, I've learned how to eat a little bit better. If you gotta stay positive, you can do what you want, so, do that.